Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. Today is Sunday, April the 5th, and I decided, hey, today would be a good day to take y'all around and show you my office, my eBay office. By the way, my brother sent me those, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then I also show you the area where I keep all my eBay merchandise uh, that I've already got listed that I'm waiting for it to sell. Um, so yeah, so I thought it'd be kind of neat for you to see that. Maybe you can get a few tips. I'll also show you some of the items that I use uh, for my eBay business on a daily basis. So uh, if you're interested in any of those, there will be links below in the description. Um, those are Amazon affiliate links. So if you do use those links, if you're interested in the product, I do greatly appreciate it. Um, also, uh, after I show you both of the rooms, um, I will uh, go ahead and ship a few things to show you all how I ship items. I don't think I've ever done a video showing I'll actually ship a few things so hang around for that uh, we'll package some stuff up that I've sold uh, recently and uh, get those moving on down the road um, all right so basically I'm in my home and my home has two levels downstairs basically is your living quarters upstairs is all the sleeping quarters um, so I have two bedrooms upstairs that are dedicated for my eBay business and this is one of them this is the bigger of the two rooms um, this is where I store my merchandise that I have not listed yet. Um, and I also take my photos uh, of my items and I list them. So we'll just start from right to left. Basically this table here is just for Amazon. So anything that I get for Amazon, I put it on this table, I'll wait for it to pile up. And then of course I send in a shipment to Amazon. Tabor's table is kind of bare right now, um, simply because we can't get out and thrift, right? So uh, we're all stuck inside. I do have a JFJ Easy Pro. This thing does work great for um, uh, taking uh, video games and DVDs and things like that. As you can see there, there's an example. It goes from scratched up to looking uh, a whole lot better. I won't say it gets them that clean, but it, it does a really good job. Uh, here is my station where I test TV VCR combos. Uh, I can also, also have this little thing here. Um, the Hyper, what is that? Hyper Can? Um, this uh, where you can actually test out NES, Sega Genesis, and SNES games. Um, so I hook everything up here. Uh, got the little TV. Got that from the thrift store for like five bucks. So this is the perfect testing. So what I usually do is when I'm testing with combos, you know, I put a DVD in and let it play. I put a VHS in and let it play, and I let it play while I'm listing things. So, and then over here, <laughs> this was actually a return. Um, I went in just to make sure everything was there, but. It worked out perfect to give me a little level. This is where I'll usually put stuff that I've cleaned up and ready to, to list, but I don't have anything right now. Um, here is probably one of my best purchases I've ever made. Uh, this is the lighting box. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can put something in here so you can really see. Just to give you an idea, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it just makes really nice clean pictures. And after you take the pictures, you know, now with uh, eBay's background removal, you can make these things look super, super nice. So. Um, yeah, so the lighting box, definitely absolutely love that. As we turn the corner here, we have my mannequin because I do still sell some clothes. Um, I do flat lay some things, but the things that I don't want to flat lay up on the mannequin, we have an O-ring light here um, just for extra lighting for clothes and things like that. Then here is my desk. Um, I do list everything on a desktop on the iMac here. So uh, I prefer listing on a desktop. I feel like that version is a lot easier. You can get more detailed. You can copy and paste easier from other listings and things like that. So I choose to use my iMac. Uh, over here are the two printers that I use. Um, I use the Dymo 450 Turbo to print out the smaller labels for Amazon for when I'm sending in merchandise for FBA. And then the Rolo printer is something a little bit newer to me. I've had it for about a month now, um, and I absolutely love this Rolo printer. If you're not familiar with the Rolo printer, the Rolo printer is a thermal printer, just like the Dymos are. They never require ink, um, so they pay. So you make your money back over time uh, pretty quickly with these without ever having to buy ink for them. And this Rolo printer prints out two to three times faster than the Dymo does. So a lot of advantages to it so far. Again, I've had it for 30 days. I absolutely love it. Also, your four by six shipping labels are way cheaper for the Rolo than they are the Dymo. The Dymo suggests you only use their brand and the Dymo 4x6 labels can be expensive. I, 12 bucks and I got like 500 um, of the 4x6 labels there. So you can't beat that. So in the end, the Rolo is gonna save me a lot more money, especially in labels. Um, 
I had the Dymo 4XL and it kept jamming up on me. Uh, matter of fact, the reason I have the Rolo now is because uh, the Dymo jammed up on me. And I will give the Dymo this. They have great customer service. Um, I called in. I told them that it was jammed up. I couldn't get the jam fixed. Um, they said, well, you've had it for two years. Unfortunately, it's not under warranty. But I just kept telling them, hey, this is essential in my business. And finally, she said, you know what? I'm going to send you a, a shipping label. Ship it back to us. We'll send, send you a new one. So what I did was is when I shipped them back my old one, they did ship me a new one. And when I got the new one, I sold it on the new one on eBay made enough money off the Dymo XL to buy the Rolo print printer. And so far, the Rolo printer is so far superb to the Dymo. And actually, the Rolo is cheaper. If I'm not mistaken, it's 179 somewhere in that range. Um, then we have a printer over here that I picked up at the thrift store. Um, picked this up on my Tennessee trip. This is the Epson Artesian 837. I use it for printing out receipts from things I buy online to resell. And, you know, I always got to have just a regular printer um, on hand. So... Down here is normally the things that I have to list, <laughs> but as you can see, I don't have much. Uh, all these watches, I bought 22 pounds of um, watches off of shopgoodwill.com, and these are all the ones that are just junk. These are fashion watches. They're not really worth anything, so probably what I'm going to do is just sell all those like that. All the ones that were worth a little bit of money, I've already sold some and got those listed. Uh, I have a video of me unboxing that. I'm going to probably upload that if I can um, find it. I've seemed to have lost the video somewhere. But if I can find it, we'll definitely upload that. So um, in that closet, I won't go open it, but um, there's a few uh, items, larger items that are for sale on eBay that I keep in there. But other than that, that is, this is my eBay office room. Now we're gonna walk down the hall and we're gonna look at where I store everything. All right, so I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but all these rooms are upstairs in my house. So uh, I use two rooms upstairs in my house. This one is for storage. The other one that you just saw was my eBay listing room. And uh, and here's kind of how I store it. That's my shipping station. You got my scales, you got the tape, um, more stuff over there, scissors, uh, you know, got boxes ready to go. Um, there's the rest of my USPS boxes. Now that's not very well organized. Um, could definitely do a little better on that. But here's my organization system. Um, as you can see, I started doing this about three or four years ago, and I'm telling you, it makes life a whole lot better. But you got being one, two, three, five. The reason it skips is because when I was originally doing it, I included some of these larger bins, and of course, they won't fit in here uh, lengthwise. Uh, not like these are. So, but I've got them all numbered. So as soon as I sell something, all I have to do is come to that bin, pull it, and. Uh, and it's ready to go. Uh, this this system works out perfect for me. I do have these two shelves over here for larger items or breakable items like these cups that I really don't want to put um, in uh, in a bin and risk that something some damage happened to them. So uh, I do have this these shelves over here. And um, what I do is I put in my listing that you know inventory shelf. Um, also this closet right here. Uh, this houses clo clothing and shoes. So, as you can see, any nice hanging clothing I have hanging there. Yeah, I can definitely get a lot better organized here with the shoes and everything. But that is just, uh, it works for now. Um, you know, anytime I sell a pair of shoes, 99% of the time, they're in here. So, that does help. All right. So, what I'm going to do now is actually pull an item. I've sold three things uh, last night. And uh, I will show you how we do this. So let me go ahead and pull an item. So the first item I sold was this bicycle seat. I think I had this in one of my haul videos. I think I did pay like $10 for it. Uh, I was able to get 30 bucks for it. On my listings, I always put a custom skew right there. If you can see that, that says the custom label is bin nine. So let's go to bin nine and get the bicycle seat. Uh, bin nine is right there. Bin 9 is a little bit out of order, but it's still. So what I'll do is, usually I can just pull them out like this, open it, and there it is. There's our bicycle seat right there. So there we go. Now we got our bicycle seat. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and, and pull everything we've sold. And uh, then I'll go ahead and show you how I ship them. Next is a... This is an Air Expects Ultrasonic Cool Mist Humidifier. 
it is in bin 20. So bin 20 is right here. Um, this is a larger item, so I'm gonna actually have to pull the whole bin out. All right, now that we got bin 20 out, we'll go ahead and there it is right there. Go ahead and pull this. How much did I get for this? I got $30 uh, for this. I paid six bucks for that. Um, I don't think I got on film when I purchased that, but uh, that was a, that was six dollars, and uh, we got thirty for it. So not too bad. All right. So our last item is a gaming headset that I sold for twenty bucks. Uh, paid six dollars for this one also, um, and unfortunately, not really going to make any money on this because it's going to California, and I do free shipping and. This is one time that's going to hurt a little bit, but this one's going to be in bin 22. So let's go find bin 22. As y'all can see how simple this is, there's bin 22 right there. I mean, this is so easy. If you're not doing a system like this, I highly suggest you, you, you look into organizing. Actually, this is the last thing left in bin 22. So there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do now is show y'all how, uh, how I'm going to ship each one of these. And... Uh, show uh, show you what I use so let's uh, let's start out with the seat so the first thing I'm gonna do with the seat is I'm gonna put a little bit of bubble wrapping on it because it is a nice seat $30 is what it sold for so let me throw some bubble wrap on it all right now that we got it nice and bubble wrapped I always throw a uh, thank you sticker on it um, this just says uh, you know we strive for five thank you for your purchase our goal is to earn your five-star part positive feedback the big point to these is this this uh, information at the bottom. If you have any concerns with your purchase, please give us a chance to make it right before leaving neutral or negative feedback. Usually when people, and these are stickers, you just peel them off. Let me peel one off here. Peel it off, stick it on there like that, and then when they open it, that's one of the first things they see. Uh, these stickers you can get off eBay. They have a different variety. To me, they're well worth it. They've gotten me a lot of good positive feedback. And if you've seen my videos, uh, thank goodness I've never had a negative feedback. Hopefully we'll be able to keep that 100% positive. Um, but they do. Uh, people will reach out to me if there's a problem with the item before, uh, you know, doing a return or trying to, to leave negative feedback. So very happy with that. All right, let me find a box that this will go in. All right, so the box that I chose for the bicycle seat here is a Priority Mail shoe box. Um, you can get these free from USPS.com. There it is, shoe box. Um, you just go to USPS.com, you click free shipping supplies. And on this one, you can actually just type in shoe box. Um, this just goes by dimensions and weight. Your dimensions are already here on the box. So all you gotta do is put your item in and then weigh it up. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, she fits in there perfect. Now we got a little bit of space here. So either you can void fill that or you can actually cut the box down. I'm just simply gonna void fill it. Matter of fact, I got some paper right here. Put the void fill in, tape it up and we'll weigh it up. All right, let's see how much the bicycle seat weighs. So it weighs 2.56 pounds. So what I always do, I have a magic marker handy. I just write on here, three pounds, always round up. Um, if you've never noticed, if you put in 2.5 or 2.6, it's the same price as three pounds. So you might as well round up when you're, when you're using USPS. And then I'll put on here, um, I'll put seat for the bicycle seat. So I'll know what it is. All right, let's see. Let's do this uh, bigger. Let's do, let me see if I can find a box for this ultrasonic humidifier. As you can see, it's going to be... Yeah, yeah, it's gonna to be too wide for a shoe box. It's gonna to be too big, so I've got to find gotta find something else. So let me see what I can find. All right, let me uh let me show you this first. So here's the box that I found uh to ship this in. This is the again free from USPS.com. Uh this is the 12 by 12 by 8 box. This is just a large shipping box. You can put uh anything in it that you like, it just goes by dimensions and weight. As you can see, that fits in there just about perfectly. What I'm going to do is add some void filled, put a uh, sticker up here. I'm not actually going to stick it to the box. I'm just going to lay it in here. And uh, yeah, then we'll be ready to weigh this one up. All right, got my sticker on there. got my void fill in. Remember, you always want to use some type of void fill. Uh, again, I get this from Amazon. Um, this void fill really helps your item from moving around. The sticker is not stuck to the box. I just laid it in there. Probably could have actually put it... Um, Kind of in the 
in those little voids right there, but yeah, I'll just leave it right there. So, all right, let's fold it up, weigh it up. All right, so I knew this one was going to weigh a little more. So, weighs 3.15 pounds, so we're going to put four pounds. What I'll do is I'll put four pounds, and then this is the um, air humidifier, so I'll just put air. All right, let's uh, find something for these headphones. All right, for the headphones, I got my void fill, I got my stickers, and this box is an eBay box that I get with my store coupon. Man, this box comes in handy. This is a 10 by eight by six. So when I get my quarterly coupon each month, um, I'll usually buy the 10 by eight by six and then also the 16 by 12 by eight. So those are two boxes that I a lot of times use my store coupon on. All right, so I'm gonna tape this up. Then I'll go print out all the stickers. And uh, with today being Sunday, I uh, usually just set them uh, off to the side and then uh, take them to the post office Monday morning. So that's it for these three. I'm sure I'll record some more as more sales come in. So stay tuned. All right, I just sold a Michigan Wolverines uh, hat. And I'm glad I sold a hat because I want to show y'all how I ship a hat. I think there's a lot of people that question how do you ship a, a ball cap. Uh, as you can see, my custom label says this is in bin nine. This is a Michigan Wolverines hat. So let's go find it. Where is bin nine? Bin nine is right here. Let's see if we can just open the top and get it. Oh, yep, there it is right there. All right, so here's our hat. So let me show you how I package this up. All right, so the first thing I do is I get some of these poly bags. Um, you get these off Amazon too. These are the ones with the uh, suffocation warnings. And um, what I do is I take the hat, I kind of push the back end like this, and then I'll put the hat in the plastic bag. And what this does, this you know, just it just gives it a nice presenta presentation um, when it gets to your your customer. And I will go ahead, seal that up, and then as always. I put one of my thank you stickers on the bag, just like that. All right, so for hats, um, you don't wanna ship them in a USPS priority box that you can get free from the post office because hats can go first class. Uh, even in a box, a hat's gonna weigh less than 16 ounces. Uh, this is the 10 by eight by six box that I get from eBay. Uh, I get these with my quarterly coupon. Um, also, my eBay tape quarterly coupon get these i do have three inch tape um but i use three inch tape on heavier items first class packages like this the ebay tapes perfectly fine all right so all we do now is just take the hat put it inside the box but as you can tell we got a lot of a room to fill now the reason you want to use a box on a hat is because you don't want the integrity of the hat to get smushed on the way of the customer you don't want to put in a poly bag um, a lot of people are very particular about their hats and they want them to arrive in good condition. So just take the extra step, especially if you're getting, you know, a decent amount of money for your hat. This one, I think it was, was it $18 we sold it for, paid $1.99. Um, and then here is where this craft paper comes in. There you off a nice piece. All you gotta do is kind of lay it in there like that. And then when the customer gets it, it looks a whole lot more professional. You get nice padding in here, void fill. All right, so the hat weighs 11 ounces. So there we go, under a pound. All right, just made another sale. <laughs> it's still Sunday, April the 5th, and my sales are, they're coming in today. This is awesome. Uh, this was a pretty good one. This is a pet safe uh, in-ground uh, fence, and it is in bin two. Sold it for 50 bucks. Can't remember what I paid for it. I'm sure it's five or $10. Uh, bin two is up here. Right, so here it is right here. Here's our pet safe in-ground fence. Oh, it thing's heavy. Uh, this is only going to Kentucky. It's going through the global shipping program with me being in Georgia. This uh, won't cost me very much at all to send it over to Kentucky. And I think, doesn't that look like that'll fit in a shoe box, priority mailbox? Let's see if it will. All right, so it will not fit in the, uh, in the shoe box. We're going to find something else. All right, so what I did is I put this in a 12 by 12 by eight box. I had a lot of void to fill over here, so I went ahead and put my construction paper. Also, we had a couple inches here. I just went ahead and cut with a box cutter some slits here to cut this box down some. Um, since this is going to Kentucky, it's 
it doesn't matter if I cut all of this down or not. It's not going to really save me any money. So I'm fine with just shipping it like this. From Like I said, from Georgia, Kentucky, it's going to be under $10 for me to ship this thing. All right, so she's all taped up. With this one, I went ahead and used the three inch tape since we had a, a lot of stuff to tape down here, uh, since we kind of broke the box down a little bit. So throw her on the scale and then I will go print out the uh, shipping label. All right, I think that's the last one uh, that I'll do for this video. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, actually seeing me box stuff up to ship it, uh, be sure to leave it below in the comments and I might just start doing this with all of my orders, just kind of film them as they come in and put them all together and make a video. So hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and I'll see y'all in the next video. Good luck out there reselling.